Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. All right, we got to go ahead and talk about this whole Kylie Williams tea. For those of y'all who don't know who Kylie Williams is, she was a member of 3LW. Y'all know the one with the damn lisp. I'm getting a little tired of your broken promises, promises, looking at your pages, seeing different numbers, numbers. Yes, her, okay? I'm getting really tired of you booking. No, bitch, promises. I'm getting really tired of you booking. <laughs> All right, y'all just seen Kylie Williams all grown up. Still in her feelings because people still make fun of her damn lisp, okay? So what's going down is this. If you guys do not know, Notori Naughton recently did an interview. And um, basically, she was talking about why she got kicked out of 3LW. This has been a damn urban legend for the past almost 16 years. I remember having my son sitting in the room watching TRL. And being like, okay, where's the little chocolate girl? Where did she go? And they were basically explaining that they was like, you know, it was just a rumor. Nobody threw food at her. You know, she's trying to get them in trouble. It was a mess. This has literally been damn near an 18-year saga, okay? Like, come on. I can't believe that this is even still a thing. What is that Notori uh, stated that while she was arguing with your mom, who's also your manager, um, that, that you threw a hot plate of Kentucky Fried Chicken in her face? We feel silly even defending myself against a two-piece. It, it sounds, sounds crazy, crazy to us. Like, it, you know, it really sounds crazy. Well, first of all, she was not arguing with my mom. She was arguing with Adrian. Okay. So, you know, I think I think a lot of stories have gotten a little, you know, very mixed up. You know, we were in an argument basically about, you know, the rumors have been flying around that, you know, Kaylee, that Naturi was getting kicked out of the group or that she was leaving or whatever it was. And basically, you know, she, it was like she got on the phone with somebody who, you know, is the board moderator and was just like, yeah, they are kicking me out. The two light-skinned girls are kicking me out. And I was like, light-skinned girls? I was like, you, I, you've always called me Adrian. I never knew that was like, you know, like, whoa. And I was, that obviously got me mad, and we started arguing there, which wasn't that normal for us, you know? Like any, you know, teenagers, we argue. And the food was actually hit. It was a plate of food that was hit by Keely's three-year-old sister. So to turn that back and that it was physical assault, you know, kind of shocked us. And it was, it was a serious accusation, so. Yeah. But anyway, so Notori was talking about everything on the interview, and she was basically breaking it down. And once the interview got back to Kaylee Williams, she was not feeling this at all. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the interview with Notori Naughton. I'm also going to show you guys what Kaylee Williams had to say. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what she had to say. And I'll go ahead and check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. And for the record, a lot of people ask me, did y'all really have a fight at KFC? Yes, we did. There was a driver sitting in our Suburban, the manager, who was also one of the girl's mother, sitting in the front. Keely and Adrian are sitting in the middle aisle, and I was in the back by myself. I said, I'm not the one who's trying to kick me out the group. Don't be mad that Wendy Williams or that the news is out, because it's true. And there were some names called, some profanities thrown. She turned around, Keely, and threw the plate of food, mashed potatoes, chicken, whatever else was in there, in my face. And I got out the car and I was just like, I'm going home. I was not given a gift to sing to deal with this, excuse my language, but real talk, this is not what I'm supposed to be doing. If you all don't see me and if you all don't appreciate me, someone else will. They drove off with that driver and left me in the parking lot in Atlanta, Georgia. So I'm over here being a mom, literally bothering no one. And I hear Naturi Naughton tells all what really happened at KFC. Okay, I let that shit go. It's probably like grabby little splashy soundbite, right? Roll your eyes, move on. But then I hear that not only did I pie her in the face with chicken and mashed potatoes, we left her on the side of the road. First of all, no, we didn't. And second of all, why? Why would you need to make up new lies? Were the old ones not working anymore? I just, I don't see the point. I'm not in the entertainment industry anymore. I'm a mom. I'm over here. You are on a hit television show. Why do you need this? All right, so you guys just saw those videos. And I find the whole situation crazy. At the end of the day, 
if Notori Notton wants to tell her story and what she experienced, she has every right to do so. Just like Keely has every right to, you know, get online and defend herself. But I find it funny that she says that she does not want Notori talking about her. And why is Notori bringing up old stuff? When, you know, it wasn't too long ago that Kylie Williams was talking about Notori and Adrian Bailon. You know, so it's funny that she can talk about these people and talk about her experience in the group. But somehow everybody else is not supposed to be able to talk about the same thing. I feel personally that she's in her feelings because she was technically supposed to be the breakout star. She was supposed to be the it girl. Okay. After all, her mom was the manager of the group. She got a lot of the lead work, even though she was the lesser singer out of the three of them. She was the weakest singer, the weakest dancer. She did have a very vivacious personality. She was very in your face and very, you know, over the top, as you guys saw in the TRL interview. So she damn sure wasn't shy, but she just, I don't know, she tended to rub a lot of people the wrong way. Um, from what I saw, a lot of people were just not feeling her like that. They either gravitated more towards Notori or Adrian Bailon, and I think that that never sat well with Healy. At the end of the day, I believe everything that Notori is saying. Notori's story has not changed in the damn 18 years that she's been spilling this tea. She's always talked about the issue that happened at KFC and them throwing food at her. Her story has remained consistent. You guys heard what they just said on the TRL interview. You know, they were even saying that her three-year-old sister was the one who spilled the food. And then a few years ago, I did a video back in 2017 addressing this because once again, her mom and her sister got on social media and they started going off because Notori was telling her story back then as well and so they were upset and they were saying you know what nobody has an issue with your dark skin you're the one who had an issue with your skin tone and all this other stuff so let me go ahead and play this flashback for you guys go ahead and check this out back and Adrian apologized to her and then Adrian went on this whole spiel about you know how she was sorry for anything she might have done or she made Notori feel any type of way and Notori basically accepted her apology I want y'all to go ahead and watch this quick snippet really quick here but now looking back it's just like yeah, we were so young and it was crazy yeah and that I genuinely from the bottom of my heart never meant any harm towards you thank and that you. I think you're talented and beautiful thank and you. Thank yeah you. no and that I, we had that moment together privately you know yeah. all right so you guys just watch that snippet so basically adrian's apologizing if she made her feel any type of way notori basically says that you know they were all kids they were all teenagers and it was really up to the adults to keep things running smoothly in that group and it seems like it was more the management and the adults pulling strings in that group so after the video went viral all of a sudden tisa williams i believe that's how you pronounce her name i'm not sure but um, Tisa Williams is the sister of the third member of 3LW, Kylie Williams. She's the one who spoke with the lisp, and she'd be like, promise this, promise this, promise this. That's her, okay? That's the third member, all right? Now, in all these years, I haven't really seen Kylie in too much. The last thing I really saw her in that was big was Cheetah Girls, which was years ago. But since then, her career really didn't pop like that, which is funny because her mother was the manager of the group. And her sister is also now her manager, okay? So her career has not popped. Meanwhile, Adrian Balan is on the reel and Notori Knighton is doing her thing in power. And so this woman literally took to Twitter and she starts going in on both of them. And then asking Notori, you know, what are we apologizing for? We put you on and you spent years trash talking us. And then she basically, in not so many words, called Adrian Balan a hoe, said she used Rob Kardashian to come up, said she slept with Kanye West. This whole situation is a hot damn mess, but I'm here for it, bitch. All right, Go so you guys just saw that flashback. So like I said, I feel like that's why she's upset. Like they say in the South, the hit dog will holla. And on top of that, if nothing happened and Notori was just making all this up, looking for attention, then please explain to me why Adrian Bailon apologized. You know what I'm saying? She apologized to her, like she said, behind the scenes. And then she also apologized to her on national television as well. So obviously something went on because these two girls over here are acknowledging that something happened at that KFC. Meanwhile, Kylie's steadily, you know, screaming and hollering that, you know, Notori's delusional, she's crazy, and that nothing happened. So who am I to believe? I'm going to believe these two over here whose stories have been the same from day one, whereas Kylie... Whereas Keely, sorry, I keep calling her Kylie, Keely's story has switched back and forth. It just doesn't make any damn sense, sis, okay? If it didn't happen, why be so combative? Why be so, you know, upset? She's saying she's a mother and she's trying to raise her child, and I get that, you know what I'm saying? We're all mothers, including Tori, who also had a baby recently. But at the end of the day, if it's water off of a duck's back, if it's water under a bridge, if it's old and you don't care about it, you're not gonna address it. People who are unbothered, they don't address fuck shit, especially if they know that it's 
its lies, why address it and why even give it any type of life? And that's what she needs to do. If she feels like this is a lie and this is dumb and this girl's lying, then why even bring it up? You know, I'd be like, okay, well, that's her telling her version of the story. Just because Notori is telling her version doesn't necessarily make it true. But being that every time she tells her version, you run to social media and you go off and you're so, you know, indignant about the situation. After a while, everybody has to give you the side eye. Because it's like, okay, well, if it didn't happen, why are you so upset? Why are you so combative anytime this girl tells the story? It's not like she says y'all jumped her and whooped her ass and she was, you know, in a coma. She's basically saying that, you know, it was an argument. It was a lot of back and forth. She also took responsibility for the role that she played because like she said you know I said a few things back you know we we were you know exchanging cuss words and stuff like that so she never put herself out there as just completely innocent but what she's saying is that after they threw the food on her that was it for her she's not going to be in a group and be abused and then the fact that they left her there was even worse you know so the whole situation is crazy but this has been going on literally since my son was a year and now he's 18. I am so over this KFC story. I'm so over this back and forth. They go back and forth like every three years on social media about this damn KFC story, okay? I wish they would just bury this shit. Notori is doing good. You know, sometimes when you're in a situation and things happen, because of course her first love was singing. And sometimes when things happen, you think it's the worst thing in life. Like, I don't, you know, I'm kicked out this amazing girls group. We went platinum. You know, everybody knew me. I was famous. And then for a long time, you really didn't see Notori until she did, like, the Notorious B.I.G. movie. And she had bit parts here and there. But now look where she's at. She's on Power, you know, one of the top shows in the nation. She's well-known, well-respected, you know. So sometimes when things happen, it's a blessing. Sometimes it's a blessing when people, you know are basically cut out of your life for whatever reason you know don't always take it as oh my gosh you know now I'm by myself take it as a blessing everybody's not meant to be in your life everybody's not meant to walk with you on your journey of life some people are only meant to come into your life for a reason or a season you know they write a small chapter close that chapter wash your hands of them and move on because when you do it opens up the window to meet better people with better energy so I think that's what happened to Notori is that once she got rid of the other the two girls and their toxic energy and all the bullshit they were putting her through look where she's at 18 years later damn near and look how blessed she is she's fulfilling her dream she's an actress she's doing her thing compared to little miss i'm getting a little tired of your book of publicist publicist she looks stressed and weathered. So again, you have to watch how you treat people because karma is real. And while she thought she was winning, you know, 18 years ago when they were younger and she was steadily shitting on this girl, now fast forward, look where she's at and look where Notori's at. I'm just saying. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation, once again, concerning Kylie Williams, addressing Notori Notton's um, interview about the whole KFC incident. Whose side are you on? Are you on Kylie's side? Do you feel like Notori needs to stop talking about this? She needs to let this go? Or do you feel like, you know what, once again, a hit dog will holla. And if Notori wants to tell her story, she has a right to without Kylie always coming out of nowhere to start getting mad and getting upset. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces.